just want to make a quick video here to show you how to uh, test your wheelchair scooter battery without having to disassemble your wheelchair or your scooter. Uh, I'm going to use a VSI controller, popular controller off a wheelchair. You don't need to turn it on even. You can just leave it off. going to need a voltmeter. What we're going to be looking for is the connector where you connect the battery charger. Just like that. We're not going to use the battery charger. Now if it's a scooter you're going to be looking for the same type of connector where you hook the battery charger to. There are always a little three prongs in a triangle shape. Now we're going to be working with the uh, two outside pins here. And you can just leave your controller on your wheelchair, just flip the arm up. You're going to need to turn your voltmeter for DC volts. DC volts is the V with a solid line on top and then the dash line below it. Not the V with the squiggly line over it, that's your AC volts. We're not going to have AC volts reading here. Okay, so what we're going to do is take one of your probes, put it on one of these outside pins. We're not going to read the middle pin, that's just data. The two outside pins are just a straight connection to your battery on your wheelchair or your scooter. Put one probe in one of the pins and the other probe on the outside of the pin. Two outside pins, the middle pins empty. Okay, so this one's reading 27.08 volts. That's going to be about what you're looking for on a fully charged good set of batteries. Uh, you're going to need uh, batteries to be between 25 and 27 volts when they're fully charged. I know they say 24 volts, but when they're fully charged, a good set of batteries is going to be actually closer to 27 volts. Okay, now you can, you can turn your controller on. It shouldn't affect the voltage hardly at all. That's just uh, from 0.08 to 0.06, still 27. Now one thing I want to show you is if you do, when you put the probes in, if you get them backwards, these are the two outside ones again, it's not going to hurt anything, it's not going to hurt the controller, not going to hurt your voltmeter. It's just going to read negative. Now there's never going to be negative volts on your batteries. Uh, I would go down to zero. So if you got them in backwards, you know that when it's reading negative, they're in backwards. And I mean, you can just assume you've got 27.8 volts, or you can turn them around, make sure, and there you go 27.8 volts. This is an easy way to. Check your batteries without having to disassemble your wheelchair, your scooter, and taking the seat off, tearing everything apart. If you need some more tips, or if you found out your batteries are bad, we have a, a list where you can get batteries from on our website, or we have more tips on troubleshooting your wheelchair at uh, wheelchairelectronicsrepair.com. Or you can click the link below this video and get there too. Thank you.